Hey guys, I um, guess this is going to be part two of tearing down um, the injection pump. Um, I don't know if I was having a brain fart the day that I uh, was tearing it apart, but I just, I talked to one of my buddies and he said, yeah, I just got to do this. And it's like, uh, I don't know why I didn't know that. But anyways, um, so let's, uh, let's get after here. So, So there's the injection pump. This is the same pump we were using um, in the part one. So there is a nut, a jam nut, which I've already taken off of here um, that you have to take out. But what you do, and I don't know, I think I started screwing it out and it stopped and I just, what my issue was, just being weird. You do have to watch because there is pieces that the govern literally falls apart. So that's the um, govern adjustment rod. And then that fits in there. And I could be wrong on some of these part names. Um, so forgive me. Being I don't work on this stuff every day. I can't remember the name sometimes. So now this piece. Which is. Oh there we go. It moves a little bit. Now at this point. There is a little clip inside here. You guys got, oh, it went flying. Just wanna watch it doesn't hit you in the eye. That little clip there. And that holds this pin in. You just gotta pull that, that clip off. This clip that just shot me in the face. Just be careful when you're pulling that off. And then you gotta pull this pin out, which sits inside there. And then this pin, there we are. So you just pull that out. Now your cold start plunger. And then this wall come out. And like I said, you gotta be super careful because there is bits and pieces that come out of here that if you don't know where they go, that's gonna pose a huge issue. Kind of like that little key right there. rotor plate I was gonna pull this out there inside there is there's a vein pump and so the fuel comes your lift pump pressurizes it into there it goes into the vein pump and the vein pump pumps it out of that hole right there so it pressurizes this canister up higher than your lift pump pressure so your lift pump pressure is just to feed the injection pump which in turn that pump is going to pressurize the pump I don't know off the top of my head what the PSI is, um, but obviously more because there's a vein pump in there. Which in turn, now when you get into down inside here more, now this is something that I didn't um, talk about when the on the first video, and this is part of the reason I wanted to do the second video. So if you take these two screws out, you can see the vein pump, but I just, I got the wrong socket up here. It's a vein pump, nothing special. So now inside here, so this is where your um, fuel shutoff was usually going to go. Now, this is a pretty simple setup, the way that this works. Now, when the fuel is shut off by the fuel solenoid, so it's shoved down, it covers that little hole over down inside there. And when it does that, the fuel cannot co can't come from inside the injection pump inside here because this is all full of fuel it goes in this port right here which actually has a little screen in it which this screen has a chunk missing out of it which is perfect not really but anyways um and then it feeds into the distribution block now the distribution block is turned by um your main assembly and it turns around in there and that's what actuates your your plungers to be activated per cylinder and then so it's your distribution block or your distributor now when guys are adjusting travel with the power screw what you're doing if i can get this turned here this is your govern plate or govern a, a part of the govern adjustment or rack adjustment i should say this is part of the rack 
um, different than a P pump. But anyways, so this little ball here sits inside that on there. So basically this is the pivot, you know, it pivots here. It pivots here and goes back and forth, which in turn, what it does is it shoves this over this. Now, if you see that, if you see that hole right there, that's it actually goes right through. But um, when that, when you give it throttle, what it does is it actually covers that hole over. Now, the more that you can cover that hole over, the more fuel is not being bypassed because this is this hole here is actually a bypass hole. So when it builds pressure inside the distributor. At an idle, it's bypassing a bunch of fuel off. Now, the more you move this over top of it, the more fuel actually goes to the injector, which makes more pressure or more um, more fuel going to the injector, which gives you more power or more fuel to the injector, I guess you'd say, because it depends where your limit is. But so adjusting the power screw, screw, which is this one, and all that is doing is making it so that this is pushed farther. And that's when you start to, when you actuate, when you turn the power screw up more and it starts to do this, which in turn is gonna move this farther. And that's the reason that the truck starts to idle up. So if you go too far, the reason that it, part of the reason it runs away is that this can't get back. This can't back up anymore because this is holding it open. So then it gets to a certain point where it just takes over the govern side of things, which is here and the and your RPM spring. It overpasses that. And when it overpasses that, there's no way for the rack to pull it back because this is, or your, your govern system to pull it back because this is physically, is mechanically being held there now instead of being the govern and the spring holding it there. Now you've gone past that point, but anyways, um, so this isn't really rocket science type stuff. I just wanted to mention that. So this is, that's how that works, right? I don't know if that clarifies anything for everybody. And then I, like I said, I wanted to show ripping the rest of the pump apart. So really not rocket science by any stretch of imagination. And I think maybe what I might do, not really a lot that I can show you guys in the distribution block, but um, it's just a bunch of ports and stuff inside there, but that that gives you an idea. So when you're playing with the power screw um, That's what is it actually is doing is it is physically moving this over top of those dump holes So just so you have an idea of what's going on Now, um, I don't know. I think that's gonna be it for this one. Um, so uh, Like subscribe um, you got any comments hit me down below and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks guys